everybody. Hey everybody, we're here at uh, another location called East Star Land. I uh, want to show more, but it's super rainy. And the uh, reception not, might not be that great. They allowed me to use the um, store Wi-Fi because the reception is bad, but we'll see how it goes. But so this is East Star Land. They have a huge location here in Shanksville, Virginia. But they also have an online store where they sell a bunch of games and stuff like that. Um, we're only going to get to see the showroom, but this whole kind of like warehouse section all the way back here is where they store a lot of their inventory. So, hey Mechas, how's it going? So, really quick, this whole area you can see here is the game shop, but they also have a lot of some toys, um, anime stuff, and everything like that. So, uh, I don't have a whole lot of time today, less time than I thought I did, um, but take a look. They also do a game exchange. So, nice thing for locals. But just starting off, they got a bunch of anime things in the little glass display here. A bunch of plushies, stuff like that. Kind of the same stuff we saw, similar stuff that we saw at um, Echo Base yesterday, but this place specializes in Video games, as you see, retro and new video games. I just picked up my order for Resident Evil 4 for PlayStation 5. But you can see they just have a crap ton of games here. And again, I apologize for the quality yesterday. I didn't realize it until afterwards. I watched it at uh, the Echo Base one. But uh, unfortunately, um, I had no control over that. And I didn't realize how bad it was. But yeah. We're going to try to go through this really quickly. Since it is predominantly a game store, um, I think that will be okay. But like I said, they do also have some toys and everything like that. Uh, so we're going to focus on that. But just to give you an idea of just how massive this collection they got all sorts of retro consoles all adorning the walls all the way along the top. And as far as I can see, just games galore. If you're into Amiibo, they have a crap ton of Amiibo here, which is kind of toy related. A bunch, a bunch of anime stuff, they do their own personalized um, engravings here, so. Oh yeah, Transformers right here. Spider-Man, stuff like that. Pokemon stuff. I'm not going to go through every aisle, but uh, they even have a little setups here with CRT, so you can actually test out games, like the classic Super Mario Bros. 3. This whole wall is like PlayStation 2 games, a bunch of novelty cups, and tchotchkes. A wall variety. Um, some more action figures here, vinyl figures, statues, fire emblem stuff. <laughs> they sell a bunch of like socks and everything. So you can get some Naruto socks, Sonic socks, Chucky. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh, they have, I didn't even notice this, they have the arc here. Titan class arc. So if you need any anime socks, you can order these book bags. Some more toys and puzzles, random things, wall scrolls. Excuse me. They got Gundam stuff, Dragon Ball board games. They actually have full-size arcades here, not like the uh, arcade one-ups that we saw yesterday. These are actual legit uh, MBS Neo Geo cabinets. This is a two-slotter, so you can play Metal Slug 5 or Magical Drop 2. Uh, they have Third Strike, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, if you're a Third Strike player. Somebody was actually in here cleaning it up earlier. And then they have a smaller two-slot MB MBS. Here's a bunch of their toys, which are along the back. Yeah, Street Fighter definitely does rule. Are you guys excited for Street Fighter 6? I haven't played Street Fighter, like, seriously in a really, really long time. Or any Capcom fighting games, for that matter. But they do have a bunch of anime stuff here. A um, whole bunch of stuff goods. Things, merch, directly from Akihabara. Supposedly. Alright, we'll go through this out real quick. Some towels, bags, sorry. 
Ooh. An egg robo. I'm like this one of those Sonic cartoons. There's so many of the Sonic cartoons I feel like. Whoa, wireless Wii receiver. I'm trying them all stuff here. Coming around to this aisle. Bunch of video game accessories. Oh, like if you want to play some retro Super Nintendo games, you can get these like retro consoles that will play them. I have one of these that play like Super Nintendo, um, Genesis, and Nintendo games, I think. There's some Naruto stuff, some Dragon Ball toys here. They have some Transformers pins in the G1 box art style. 28 bucks. They are die cast, so I guess that is nice, but 28 bucks is quite a lot. A bunch of other pins here from Squidward, the handsome Squidward, JoJo, Sonic, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, a whole bunch of little mini figs down here. Yeah, this is this whole aisle seems to be like anime focused uh, mini figs, pops, these pop pins. I just heard Funko Pop laid off like half of the um, Mondo staff, which is pretty sad. Uh, but apparently they're not doing so well financially. I guess Pops are not selling as well. Uh, here's some more of their toy shelves, statues, all across the board. Oh, Don Flamingo. Some one piece. That looks good. You need a Lemillion? <laughs> Anthony Brown, that's cool. You got some One Piece Red characters. Do we see a Lemillion? I don't even know. Ichigo. Uh, Demon Slayer. More One Piece. Oh, they're over here. I have not been collecting the, the new ones from the Wano art, but I might have to start buying these. I didn't realize that Mega House was still doing the Variable Action series. Ton of stuff down here. Oh, I passed them. Oh, it's probably down here, right? Anyway, I don't have time for all that nonsense. Not going back. Gonna press forward. All right, take a look here. Some more statues. This, I guess, their Dragon Ball statue on. I always like this uh, armor on Krillin. He was actually pretty cool in the Saiyan art. Oh, he was with the pops. If you actually need it, let me know, Anthony, and I can go grab it. But I'll just assume you meant you want them at some point. Kintaro, and you can probably get them online or, you know, eStarland.com. That's their site, so. More statues, some Persona stuff. Yeah, we're, we're probably not going to see a lot of Transformers here. I was actually surprised to see the arc here, since it is more kind of anime game-focused. Display case back here. All right, cool. Game Boy, Game Gear games. Bunch more wall scrolls and such. More plushies. More tchotchkes from Japan. Oh, what is this? This thing is ugly. Whatever it is, it's ugly. All right, the other side of that. Ooh. The other side of that uh, display. Oh, you've got Sangoro. Or, uh, what's his name? He's number three of the group. What's he called? Uh, oh, oh, Soba Mask. That's right. Soba Mask. That's what it was. More MHA stuff. I don't see any Lemillions over here. I see Froppy. Uh, here's some Final Fantasy figures, some Near Automata stuff. That's still on my backlog. That's actually, well, now it's pushed back a little bit, but that is gonna was on. That was my next game I was gonna finally play. Ooh, Luigi's Mansion. Um, but since I got Resident Evil Four just now from here, uh, that will get pushed back to at least one more. Hey, Mariana. No, yeah, definitely don't text and drive. Be careful out there. Ooh, Devil Jim from Tekken. 
7, that Gundam uh, Suzabi, that TM reviews broke and hated. They do have a bunch of model kits here, including some Gundam stuff, some hats, more Gundam on this side, some Mega Man armor of various types, even the SD Gundams it looks like. Oh, uh, Pat Labor. Oh, oh yeah, I do remember seeing this. This is the uh, Super 7 Optimus Prime for 55 bucks. Yeah, Super 7. I think this is a sleeve, but I, I'm not going to mess with it one handed. I don't want to drop it and have to buy it because I definitely do, want that, do not want that figure. Uh, what else do they have here? So, this is kind of like their accessory style. You also have like arcade sticks, which is one of my other hobbies. I collect a whole bunch of arcade sticks, retro arcade sticks, modern arcade sticks, even though I haven't been playing video games in quite a while, or fighting games in quite a while. Um, I have probably like 80 to 100 different arcade sticks. All right, there's only one other section that we're going to visit really quickly before I have to head out. And again, look, uh, this place is huge. This is this whole, this is probably not even a hat. You can kind of see where everything is housed. Uh, some other things that we got here, the Q poskets or whatever they're called, more pops. Can't go in here, but yeah, they do tr trade in. I come in here and trade in some stuff every once in a while. Like I just dropped off a couple of trade-ins for some old arcade accessories, more statues. Oh yeah, here's some arcade sticks down here. These are for like PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 days. Uh, some Kami, some Laura Kinney Wolverine statue, Shoto, Silver Mask again, superhero stuff. Oh, that's a big Mega Man statue. Some Star Wars stuff, Star Wars Samurai crossover. Big E Honda, some Tekken controllers, I guess some extra accessories, a lot of Zelda statues. I guess she's not selling well. Who do we have here? Oh, from the Phantom Pain. I haven't played Phantom Pain yet. Hey, Matty Dentist. Yeah, your Honda Tario was garbage. Yeah, so was mine. I actually went there before I went to, yesterday before I went to um, uh, Toshi Station. Toshi Station. Um, Echo Base, and since I, I didn't even bother starting the film there because I knew there was going to be nothing, so I checked and confirmed there was nothing there. Otherwise, I would have started over, had a fake start, and uh, would have gone to Toy Hunt to find something that I had already seen. But yeah, we're getting close to the end here. We have more statues, more stuff like that. This is not really a Transformers place, but I think uh, a lot of people have been commenting on the Toshi Station Echo Base that I did yesterday. So I wanted to show off this place because, um, yeah, I come here pretty regularly. And while they don't have a lot of Transformer stuff, they just are a really cool store to just check out. And because they have an online storefront where they probably do most of their sales since you saw the warehouse. Um, if you guys have interest in anything, not just what you saw in the here, on the video and the live stream, you can go ahead and check them out at eStarland.com. But yeah, just another another cool store. If you guys uh, haven't heard of it, they've been around for a while. But um, but yeah, that's really it, everyone. Unfortunately, I have to run. But hopefully, you guys are enjoying these toy hunts. Uh, maybe I'll do a longer one when I have more time at some point. But um, just wanted to really quickly show off the store we have here. All right, that's going to be it for today, everyone. Hope you guys have a good one. Later for lifers.